Hi, Lori. I think I've got a solution that might work for this quiz with multiple fill in the blanks. So what I did is I created a quiz question that has multiple fill in the blanks. And so I'm going to go in and um, edit the quiz. Let's uh, cancel this. I'm going to edit so that I can show you what I did here. So here's the questions. And I made this one question. I'm editing it so you can see it. I chose the um, fill in multiple blanks. And then what I did is I read the format that they show that you need to use if you have um, multiple blanks to fill in. And so you have to do, so here's, here's the question that, that you gave me. And then after the question in that same box in Canvas, I'm in now writing and I typed quote marks, so trying to make it look like their example. Instead of roses are square bracket color one, violets are square bracket color two, I wrote quote and I put the parentheses in there and then I put a variable of x in parentheses, square, square brackets, comma, y in square brackets, the closing parentheses, and the quote mark. And so then, at the bottom here, uh, it asks show possible answers for, and it automatically came up for me with the same variables that I had put up here in, in the quiz question. So it's now showing me a pop-up menu of what are the possible answers for X and what are the possible answers for Y. So I, in X, I typed in negative two, and in Y, I said five, and I saved my question. And so now I have this quiz question, and look what happens when I preview this quiz. So here's your, here's your question. Find the midpoints of the line segment with the given endpoints. These are the coordinates you gave, and so now I have a box and I have the formula already. Now, I'm not crazy about these quotes. You may not need the quote. Um, we, you can check that out yourself. I'm going to type in the answers, which was negative 2, comma, 5, and I can submit that quiz. And so, and it tells me that I got it correct. So I got one out of one question correct. So um, I'm going to send you this video, and I hope you'll try it with some real data and see. try getting rid of those quotes, see if that works. But I think that might be a good solution for your kinds of quiz questions. Hope this helps.